Hi. Mm, you can explore my functions later. Let's keep it the path we're on. I need to refill my cool, refreshing water. I must. You. It was you who... Water. It seems he remembers we were his last customers. been a few days, but I really do wish I could get back to my painting. Back to something normal. I feel caught in a loop. I run through the facts over and over, but I get nowhere. Maybe if I put it on paper, something will make sense. Or maybe it'll just be cathartic. I don't really know what else to do. an interesting question. Mr. Ross seemed to be a Christian, but was rather circumspect when discussing his personal life. Maybe he would tell me that God has a plan, or maybe he would say one of the things from his show. It's hard to see things when you're too close. Take a step back and look. Or maybe only think about one thing at a time. Don't get greedy. I don't know what I think about a supreme divine creator. Mine certainly wasn't. But I'd take any of the advice in the spirit given. The things that have happened have happened. There are no mistakes. I should fix the things I can fix and change anything I can't into something different, something better. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Can I help you? I, I don't really have time to talk. I'm waiting for someone. Um, are you Vincent Mensa? We're here for a meeting on behalf of Melody Flores. Oh, good. You're Melody's people. Do you have everything that I asked for? Uh, there must be some miscommunication. Melody said that you would be able to provide us with some information about Hayden Weber's projects within Parallax. He has gone missing, and any information we get may be useful. Damn that old woman! What? We had a deal! She promised me, and I'm not giving up anything until I get what I need. I already know Hayden is missing. Why else would I be willing to sell corporate secrets to Flower? This was my chance to get out of the city. Instead, she sends the two of you, hat in hand with nothing. <sighs> I'm assuming you're Hayden's little pet AI? Insulting, but accurate. Look, I'm sorry to come off callous. I, I do want to help. Hayden was a colleague and a friend, and I want to know he's okay. But I also need help getting the hell out of Neo SF, and now! My info is my leverage, and it's not for free. I'll just have to find another buyer. Maybe after I make another deal, I'll be able to pass it to you. Perhaps we could assist you? My friend here is a terrific journalist. Being skilled at hunting down people and information is part of the job. Uh, I don't know. Look, I need a hundred thousand credits, an untraceable car, and a fake passport for me and my wife, Francesca. If you can get me all that, I'll give you anything you want. Hayden's research notes, what I know about Parallax, my company's security credentials, whatever. If you're really sure journals can come up with that kind of stuff in one day. Might? Dear God, I'm doomed. Melody only gave us a rough sketch of what you need. The more you can tell us about the situation, the sooner we can fulfill your request. Uh, sure, as long as it isn't the juicy stuff. I'm the head applications engineer for their data analysis division. Or maybe was, is what I should be saying. If Hayden is the big brain who comes up with the math that runs the search algorithms, I'm the guy who figures out how to collect and apply the data that we get. We've worked pretty closely for years, but he's head and shoulders above me as far as theory goes. I just build stuff out of the things he hands me. I don't think you're giving yourself enough credit here, Vincent. Hayden was just a computer scientist, if a good one. Was? I'm still getting used to my independence from him. Ha! And that right there proves my point. Hayden built a fully independent machine intelligence in his spare time. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to bash myself here. I'm a good software engineer, probably one of the best. But machine intelligence? In a form factor like yours? Now that blows my mind. We've got full immersion, virtual reality, yet most people would still call you science fiction. Mm, if you say so. Because Parallax is rotting from the inside out. Hayden going missing is the last straw, and it's a big ass straw. 
There is... Mm, how do I put this without giving it away? There's a new project about to roll out, and it's going to change everything about how Parallax does their business worldwide. Since the launch of the MeshNet, we've had some board shakeups, and the people at the top are different from the ones who've previously run the company. The altruism the company displayed in the past is gone. They're harder, more ruthless, and more concerned with profits and power than ever before. Not just richest company in the valley power either, real power. My guess? Parallax got rid of Hayden because he was about to do something that would get in the way of that. If they're willing to get rid of the brightest mind on their payroll, what's to stop them from getting rid of me? There's a half dozen people who could do my job. So I'm getting out before I accidentally step on the wrong person's toes and end up at the bottom of the bay. Nothing concrete. I probably wouldn't have noticed anything out of the ordinary. I mean, Aiden goes out for a couple days all the time, right? Conferences and guest teaching. He doesn't exactly share his itinerary with me. I tried asking around and no one will say anything. If he had jumped ship, went to a different company, it would be the talk of the week at the water coolers. Instead, dead silence. Thankfully, he allowed me to keep backups of most of his work, simply because I cross-referenced it so much. He didn't like having it all in one place anyway. Bring me what I asked for, and I'll tell you more. Sure. I guess I can stick around here for a while. I need to make some calls anyway. If you do manage to get what I need, bring it here today and you'll get anything you want. Forwarding photos and info for the passports to Turing now. And I really hope you can do this. I'd rather give it to you than some other corporation anyway. See you soon. I'm not quite sure where to get fake passports or an untraceable car. The only shady folks we know are those punks who vandalized Hayden's apartment. I doubt they could point us in the right direction, but a long shot is better than no shot. They might agree to help us in repayment for the damage done to the apartment. They seemed remorseful. We should check Market Street for them, in case they regularly hang out there. As for the rest, perhaps Dr. Fairlight or Melody could spot us the credits. That certainly is no small amount, but is unlikely to cause much consternation for either of them, assuming they are as dedicated to helping as they claim. Melody is assumably home as usual, and Fairlight did let us know he'd be at the hospital. We could ask either of them for assistance. Up to you to decide which would be a better course of action.